I just Take I two. just heard something about don't start your stuff with hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hi. Hi. Episode Hi. number two. Episode in the books. number two. Uh, we are so excited to be here. This is between the sheets with Leah. We have Chris here, who is my co-host, and Juanita. Good morning. Is brand new to the whole thing. Yeah, hey. let's introduce Juanita. Hello. So Juanita, why don't you introduce yourself to everybody? Okay, um, I'm Juanita Garcia. I will be working talk with the Leah. Microphone. Um, he said talk into the microphone. Okay. Um, I will be working <laughs> directly with Leah um, as her makeup artist. And right now I'm helping her get the assisting side of the business, um, the business side of things together. So um, that's where we are right now. I'm super excited to be here. And I Does it, cool. doesn't she have a cute little voice? No, doesn't, she does. She just has, like, definitely uh, definitely good for radio. Voice. I lost <laughs> the gum. <laughs> Swallowed it. Well, that's good. You're not Swallowed supposed to gum. chew and, and talk. Yeah, yeah. So, I knew this. I, when so I no started problem. Even in the I photo shoot. Them. We did. We just did a photo shoot with her, and that was pretty awesome. Uh, she kind of got thrown into the whole mix. But if you're going to work for me, you have to... Be ready have, to get thrown in because there ain't well, no other way. And not only that, but I think it's such a great experience to be able to um, kind of dive into that so that she knows exactly how the women are feeling when they step in here, the anxiety. Yeah. But i um, super excited that you're here, and I'm excited to... Um, also tell you guys about the studio that's kind of what this is about yeah yeah so today's episode essentially is is going over just the new space yeah. kind of what we currently are doing here just what's to come yes and you know just all the awesome stuff that, that we have in the in the book so yeah um why don't you go ahead and start off with just the space here and and how it's different from your your old space yeah because there's night and day difference so we uh built you know the old space in 2015 2016 you know ballpark and we use that space sufficiently it was very comfortable we try to make it as professional as possible and the level of that professionalism i wanted to just up that scale i wanted to bring yeah. something new i wanted to just continue to to keep upping that level and yeah and i think you've definitely definitely achieved that here with this thank um you. thank you you know just looking at the whole entirety of it i mean attention to detail everywhere it's yeah. it's great every every room in this building had to be multifunctional it had to function in in different ways it had to um be cohesive in the sense that if i shot this way or i shot that way or every piece of furniture has a function and that was really really important so so there's there's a lot of thought put into this is what you're saying absolutely yeah, there's a <laughs> lot of drawings a lot of blood sweat and tears for sure um and, you know, so, so kind of bringing Juanita into, you know, she was saying that she does the assisting piece and um, is just finished her, um, her, is it a degree? Is it a certificate? How did, what is it? Uh, my license. Okay. My esthetician license. So I will be a licensed esthetician. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll be doing Say that three times fast. Say it for real. I'm an SD. <laughs> I just call it SD. <laughs> That's a word I learned at school. <laughs> yeah. She's a licensed SD. I'm a licensed SD. Oh my God. So we'll be doing lots of different services here in the studio um, in the future. So I'm excited about that. Yes. And, and um, already she's kind of picking up business with offering facials, in-house facials and uh she her main focus i think you kind of want to really do uh, brows and lashes and permanent makeup permanent maybe. makeup yep eventually move into some like tanning things so yep. all in one tanning, service waxing. so are you saying you can tattoo my eyebrows if i want them i'm gonna try <laughs> well you, do you want to be her guinea pig yeah do you want to um, be my daughter? <laughs> maybe not quite yet it means i'd have not to shave them yet. off <laughs> at least i grow back though if, do you have you to know. shave off your eyebrows when you do no. stuff like that mm -mm. oh you just you know, you just get a good solid um, pattern for what their facial structure is and just fill in the sparse areas. Do men the most. get their t eyes tattooed? Oh, gosh. You know, I really don't know. I would assume so. See, because see, when, when I think of tattooing eyebrows, I think like, because I'm, I'm from Albuquerque, and, uh, you know, know, like know all, you. The, all the, the cholas in, in the hood, you know, <laughs> have, have their eyebrows all. Right? Crazy, yes. you know, and, and that's that's the first thing that comes to mind with tattooed eyebrows. So right. um, that's definitely not what I'm thinking. Well, <laughs> I want to reassure everybody that's here is my focus is the the most natural look that you could attain. Yeah. Um, whenever you are doing something that is permanent, 
Mm-hmm. That's yeah. definitely something that I'm going to be focusing on. And why um, did you go that route? Like, so you t- let's talk just a minute about that. You know, since we're kind of introducing yeah. Juanita, and and I think it's important for my people to know who she is. We've had a few different faces inside of the studio. We have Whitney, who's in the house. She's in the background. I wish you could kind of pop in and say hi. Mm-hmm. But we have Whitney in the house, who is our current makeup um, artist, and she as well does facials and she does a bunch of stuff. Um, and so you guys are, are familiar with her face. We we did a little drop on her headshots. You have, you know, met Chris a multitude of times, and so you, yep. this, this is going to be better as far as like even, I think, getting women comfortable with you, yeah. Um, and then just introducing Juanita and her and her part. So assisting is what she's helping me with at the forefront right now, and um, going in and finishing her SD license, and she is going to just be providing those services. But you were in you were in the medical field completely. Yes, I was. I was. Um, business admin in the hospital uh, for close to 19 years. Um, so wow. changing directions and career paths has been um, a little scary, but I have a strong love for making women feel beautiful and including myself, you know, it's important that I, I keep up and um, so I, I was I was trend. gonna I was just gonna ask you you know why such a change after so many years I mean for most people twenty years in a in a profession I mean that's like you stay stuck you know sure. like yeah yeah I mean you know people do that and then they look for another ten and they retire you know what I mean for sure. um, so what made you decide to to take that leap after after that long time well ultimately becoming your own boss is the goal and in my perspective um, being entrapped by the corporate business world has been difficult for me so I'm over it I am I'm ready to be free and be myself and create a schedule that is conducive to my lifestyle and you know push my bar higher every day not somebody else's so really that's my goals um, to be a self start self-made millionaire yeah, you got yeah. it you got it yeah um, cool speaking that out into existence for sure has been something um that i'm going through now learning how to that's how you manifest it right you got it the the first podcast manifestation right right cool you know it's been great i'm excited and i'm excited to focus on the people that are my age um or in the rate range of my Mm -hmm. age group because i do know that one day you guys woke up and said who the heck is this person in the mirror um i know that 40 has definitely changed um, lots of things about my appearance and, um, of course, my outlook. So I'm excited to focus on people who seen a drastic change at the age of 40 or 30 or yeah, 50. Yeah. So let, in, the, in your journey thus far, what's, what's been like, let's, and let's get real for a second, what's been like the tough stuff? Like what's been the hardest thing for you uh, at this point? Career at eight, in, you know what I mean? Like in having that comfort what was that like? Like having the comfort of a regular paycheck coming through to jumping? Well, it was definitely a, a dive head first, um, but really just managing, you know, the savings account that I had and working mm-hmm. through school. Um, really the most challenging part has been going back to school and being um, in an environment where I'm surrounded by younger individuals um, mm-hmm. with different those young books the young ones that <laughs> right. have a different um, perspective some of them are doing it just because they don't have anything else to do in life so they're bored and they thought going to beauty school would be um, something fun however there's so much involved in this industry that will make or break you so i i definitely think that you have to be passionate about it and you have to know your products you have to know um, what somebody else is envisioning and really be able yeah. to project that. I'm going to, I'm going to ask a quick question because I, I know that, um, one thing that you had mentioned just at, in the beginning where you said, you know, I have to kind of keep up and I have to keep up with the trends. Yes. I guess first, my first question is I'm going to challenge you here a little bit. Okay. Um, and just ask you, what is the importance in keeping up with the trends? And I guess question number two is how, how do you go about doing that? Well, keeping up on the trends is really just staying on top of of what people are doing, what the new things that are coming out from the woodworks of the beauty industry. There's so much um, amazing 
things going on out there that are hitting the surface that I am engaged in, I wanna tap into. And what's your passion for that? Like what, what, what is the idea behind that? Well, the idea behind that would be just to really make sure that I'm capturing what another person is wanting, mm -hmm. you know? This is, this could potentially change their look and they have to be able to embrace that change and know what, exactly what they want and really encourage people to not stay in the trend when you're doing permanent services. However, there's lots of temporary things that you could do to stay up on trends. So what's like that you've come across, what's like the coolest thing that you've seen or, or thought about? Like what resonates with you that you're like, oh wow, that's like super interesting or super cool or, because I'm, I'm totally blind to the industry as you guys would probably know. Um, so I'm, I'm just curious. Sure. Um, well, definitely product knowledge is a key point for me and in, um, incorporating facials into the services that we'll be offering here. Um, I am focused on organic, natural products, which, you know, the, the amount of products that they have out there that um, are chemically induced and, and they just, they really aren't the best for your skin and you would not know that if you are not an educated um, esthetician or, you know, in the skincare business. Um, so, you know, you don't we, know what you're putting on your face sometimes. You, absolutely. It could be something that, you know, they're recommending and, and you, if you don't know, you don't know. You're just buying it, you're putting it on and yes. you have no idea what kind of chemicals you're putting on. So that's, that's crazy. Yes. Yes. And those are the things that, um, I want to focus on is educating clients, making sure that, um, it, fits them financially, you know, skincare can get pretty expensive, so can any of the services. So finding ways to really um, be natural and focus on being good to the planet. Of course, I have a green thumb, so I try to not- She picks up all Chris's cigarette butts. Yes, um, I, do. I throw my own away, thank you. Chris actually does, I pick up all Leah's cigarette butts. <laughs> Wait, she doesn't smoke. smoke. <laughs> you mean everybody else's? All around, all around there's cigarette butts. So yes, I am, I focus in on... Um, Environmentally conscious. Yes. You got it. Yes. You got cool. it. And cool. that's something important to me because there are a lot of aspects to this profession that can get pretty... Um, it's... It yeah. just causes a lot of trash. Yeah, so so Lots of I want to, and, and I don't mean to interrupt you, but I want to... Yeah. Um, I want to talk about something real quick, just that we we have recently done with you, yeah. and kind of get a get a post uh, experience check. Whitney's so, next, just so we we did some video <laughs> recently um, with you, kind of threw you on the spot, and you really didn't know that day you were gonna have a photo shoot done and be on video and, and everything else. And if you guys haven't seen the video yet, yes. please um, go to YouTube. YouTube and check that out. It's uh, it's powerful, it super powerful. powerful. So. Um, Tell us about that experience. How did, how did that go? What, what, uh, looking back on it now, you know, how do you feel about it? Well, I was just um, ex sharing with Leah. I've watched the video a couple of times, a handful of times. It's still a little um, hard for me to see. I get choked up. And just listening to my voice and what I said um, just settles right into me. It's truly the way that I was feeling. It was my why was definitely original and very, very from the depths of, of who I am. And, you know, although it was focused on my past, um, I'd like to say that it was more focused on me growing and my future, really, and, and yeah. becoming um, stronger and more confident. And yes, I was thrown into the fire, but um, I feel like my nerves were shaky either way and just being thrown in, just allowed me to open up and say, you know what, you could do this in my own self. Um, and I was not anticipating that day to come in here and do that, but I'm glad I did. And yeah, I yeah, appreciate cool. what was captured and everybody's awesome skill set and all the things that, that everybody did to allow me to see that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it was a lot of work for you guys in the background. So I appreciate what you guys did for me. Of course meant the world hell of a way to start off huh <laughs> yeah indeed i'm like okay and then if i could right just ask you um mm -hmm. Juanita, uh what 
piece of advice after going through what you did would you give to any women that are anticipating doing something like this? You know, what, what in your experience now, because now you can say in my experience, sure. you know, what that was like, what would you, what would, what would the advice you give them? Well, I would definitely say when you get here, just know that you're in good hands. And I know that there's lots of anticipation about whether or not you know, you'll look beautiful or will your pictures come out the way that you want them yeah. to come out, but just know that they will because I felt super comfortable in the environment. Everybody was so great. Everybody is very patient and understanding and they move with the client, not to their needs. So I appreciated that. They let me have my moments, breathe it out, regroup. So these are all the things that, you know, if I could suggest anything for clients coming in is drop your anticipation out the door because you are going to walk into a place that you feel super comfortable and you're going to be treated like gold here. Yeah. So. And, and I just want to add one thing. Your, your experience isn't what the typical client experience has even been at this no. point, yeah. um, you know, because you had her doing your photos you had myself and uh dana you know <laughs> shooting video and i mean you know we're going to be offering video in the future but that's that's something that not a lot of people have had the opportunity to go through so yes. um you know that's, that's super cool yeah well and i'm i'm excited to see when i could do a different one where i'm actually more prepared, prepared from start to and finish. i actually yeah. get my makeup done and have shout outfits. out to whitney, <laughs> whitney. Woo -woo. um so yeah. whitney's here today to do my makeup and yep. i'm super yeah super tell, tell us about tell us about what you're doing today so today i'm going to be taking my corporate headshots so no, no, no 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 this oh. is not corporate oh not corporate uh, sorry <laughs> my um headshots just head professional. Head professional. professional head there talk. we go. I, the only reason why I say that is because she's moving from the corporate, corporate world. Man, that, that corporate's got its yeah, hooks. Yeah, it does. And it, that, that word is pull them out, it's you know? heavy loaded. You know, yeah. corporate is heavy yes. loaded. So she yes. is taking her professional headshots for her endeavor that she's about to get into. We're going to introduce her yes. yeah. and really roll. Check those headshots out when yeah. they come out. They'll yes. be out soon. For sure. Yes. And, and you know, Whitney's doing her hair and makeup. And Whitney will be next uh, to kind of sit down with us and, and talk and explain her you know her experience in life wow she's got a lot of life junk we want yeah. to talk about <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> she got a soap opera. yeah uh, there we i go. love it i love it so yeah cool well thank you so much for, yeah. for doing this and just sure. kind of being here and be on the lookout yeah to see her more yeah, yeah. so uh, we'll uh we'll continue on here me and leah for a little bit go get your makeup Sweet. done yeah. okay bye guys bye All right, Leah, so let's talk a little bit more about the studio, about, uh, about the vision, about kind of just, you know, what, what we've got here. Yes. Um, so vision, I think, in everything, you know, first and foremost, I love that you use that, that word to kind of start out with. Um, the word vision is super important. Um, <laughs> the word vision is super important yeah. uh, because... If you don't have a vision or if you don't have an end game of where it is that you want to go, then you can't go there. Right, you right. Know? So, so vision in anything that you do in a vision in this studio was so important. Yeah, I mean, this, this, this place, this house, I mean, everything was, was built literally from that vision of this first yeah. and then everything from there, right? Yeah, I mean, essentially, yes. I knew that the studio was a huge part and, and had to be incorporated because that's my business. Yeah. You know, this is yeah. the livelihood of what I do. And so I knew that this portion of it had to be it, it had to be at the forefront. Yeah. But the vision started off, you know, I get my, a lot of my inspiration from Pinterest pictures, uh, probably like any other yeah. thousands she's, of She's women. got, I don't know how many pins on how many different things. <laughs> yes. It's and, crazy. Yes. And so, um, but that's good, you know, it's I, real you, good. It's just like a vision board. You yeah. know, Pinterest is like a living vision board. It, it really truly is. You, you, if you, if you want something, look at it, make it your own and, mm -hmm. and kind of configure that yourself. And so, the forefront of the house. Um, so just so everybody knows that this is still a house that you're coming to. It is still my home that you're coming to. It's just now completely separate space. Yeah. And so the um, old studio, uh, for anybody that had you know come to see me or just read or, or what whatnot, um, that studio was built in the back of my home. And so clients still had to enter in through the gate, walk to the back, 
and then enter in there. Completely separate entrance from the home. Right. It, it just private space, but um, it, that residential area too was just a little bit more. Yeah, I, I, there's there's only so much you can do to to have that that professionalism. Yes. You to lead with that professionalism when it's you know in your backyard. I mean, you did a hell of a job. Thank you. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll give you credit for that. And uh, I mean, anybody that you have done work with, I'm sure it will, will say nothing but the same. But um, I mean, just from looking at that to looking at this. You know, it's, it's night and day difference, yes. night and day difference. Yeah, so, so the vision started out with just the front of the house and building back. Yeah. And so what I did was uh, I took a picture that just really inspired me and what I loved growing up. Um, I grew up here in, you know, the Whitefield Security Fountain area. Mm -hmm. And my mom was from Georgia, so I got to see a lot of those southern, you know, just colonial okay. houses. Yeah, yeah. And okay, that, that, that makes sense, it, looking I, at the front of your house. Yes, and so I wanted the big white porch. I wanted the, the black shutters. I wanted, you know... Um, just that feel a rancher and mm -hmm. so from there we built the we built the house back and we had a come place where the studio was going to go yeah and so um our construction um team when i say shout out to brian and to award construction um he just he took that vision and and you know worked with me and we compiled together the ideas and we came up with bringing it on top of the um, garage. Yeah. And so this is an oversized three-car garage and the studio is now a studio apartment um, and when I say studio apartment, there is a kitchen, there's a washer, yeah, there's a dryer. It's a there's full a, like, it's yes. a full place. It's, I wouldn't even call it a studio because it's more like a one bedroom. It like, really is. House. I mean, it really could be. It's, you it's, know, it's nice. I've already had some clients come in here and say, "Gosh, this is you know, this is bigger than my apartment that I live yeah, in." Yeah, yeah. Um, so you come up the stairs, and you you know, first and foremost, the, the stairs are beautiful. Um, EAS Sports uh, took care of that and uh, kind of. Again, we just con configured a design and mm -hmm. what we wanted, and, and they played around with it. And so, coming up the stairs, you have a beautiful floral, um, just kind of um, yeah, it's, it's, decal. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a, and a, you're a nice greeted, you know, with a, a beautiful sign that kind of reminds you why you're here, just where you're at, and, yes. and what's going on. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Anybody who has not come down to see this studio, you know, you guys are missing out for yes. sure. I can say that. I mean, I'm still just taking back, and I'm here like almost every day. You know, um, so yeah, it's, it's cool. Now, I want to I want to know. So with this with the studio, obviously, there's going to be so many more things that you're going to be able to do now mm -hmm. that you didn't or weren't yes. able to do as, as effectively or, or at all yeah. at the old place. Yeah, um, tell us about some of those some of those things and, and kind of what's what's to come with with, you know, the new uh, boudoir suite. Yeah. So, you know, um, we're growing and uh, women, you know, they, they, they know who I am and, and they know the company name and they know that they're going to be taken care of and um with you know the choice of growth you 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 you're changing the level of scale of how you do business and what you want to offer and so some of those things that have been in the back of my mind are like sexy in the shower mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. there is a full-blown shower inside of the bedroom um, yep. where women can you know just kind of um, they can get sexy sexy they can um you know wear a white tank top and panties if that's what they want to wear yeah they get to always have that choice so that's that's one of the services um another one is the kitchen we just did a photo shoot of the kitchen which was nice. sexy first oh one. my gosh first one so cool. um i'm just trying to do stuff that's different one of my mentors told me yeah. a long time ago when you see everybody going one way completely go the opposite right and so what i have noticed in the photography world is I kind of see where the trends are going mm -hmm. and I go against them, Yeah, you know, and that's kind of what's worked for me. And, and, and that's kind of what I was asking Juanita is, you know, what's, what's important with the trends and, and yeah. to her, you know, and, um, some people really do want to keep up with the trends and, and that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. I just, for me, um, and my vision and what I want to do here, I want to go the opposite direction. Yeah, you want so to set them. I want to set the trends. Yeah, yeah I definitely yeah, do. Okay. So. Yeah. That's, that's cool. That's really cool. Um, and then even on a, a, a more, like business to business type um, approach, you know. I, I know we talked a little bit about the the, the barn space yeah. that you have and, and setting up that for uh, potential renting for photographers, different things like that. Like, yeah. what, what does that look so like? So, in the <clears throat> in the grand scheme of things, um, which will be kind of like the like a five year plan, maybe. You right, know, right. Uh, it, and you know, when I say five years, I work in two, <laughs> so <laughs> I work pretty fast, but. This studio and the design of it, there it, it does have some potential for headshots and um, professionalism that way, but mm -hmm. it is set up for that more sexier style shoot. Yeah. Uh, so I love headshots. I 
love doing professional headshots. I love doing branding headshots. I love doing high school senior shoots and photography. I love Mm -hmm. the one-on-one. And so I still need a place that I can do those. So this is sitting on a 10 acre, um, you know, property. Um, The house is five acres. Uh, My mom is right next door to me, which is really nice. We moved her out here in 2017. And so she's on an additional five acres. And so the idea is to be able to use the indoor outdoor space. And then we have a 3000 square foot barn that's kind of open. We originally were, were trying to do some venue stuff and wedding things Mm -hmm. and, um, the city put up a lot of roadblocks for me and, and okay. unfortunately and so uh I, you know in my mind i just kind of revamp rethink and just did a shift yep, did, yep you got a shift and and you know okay now what can we use that for okay so yeah cool cool awesome so, yeah you know um we got a lot of, a lot of moving parts today a lot of things going on yes um but we still wanted to just you know put something out in the idea of being consistent with the broadcast so yes, yeah you know we're gonna make it a little shorter than normal today yep but uh you know definitely cover some good stuff well and you know what are some of your ideas chris so let, so let me let, let me let me ask you a couple of quick okay, questions okay, here since okay. you're kind of been hosting this thing yeah yeah um you know what 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 has been your um what, what has been your position in Leah Flores Photography? And, and kind of just t- talk to people about that whole transition of how sure. we met and how um, we came across each other. And Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I have a, uh, a friend of mine uh, whose name is Dana Keith. Mm-hmm. You know, he, me and him do a lot of work, and we have done a lot of work together for a good handful of years now. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, a lot of years when I look back on it. It's crazy. But uh, I first met Leah from him. You know, he, he told me about... Uh, a lady that he had met and you know that she had a really cool studio she's a, a real successful boudoir photographer mm-hmm. and uh invited me to come along one day yeah. so you know that's where everything started mm-hmm. you know and we all kind of just had fun in the studio taking yeah. pictures doing yeah. video and uh it, it was a cool experience you know it was, it was cool to see just kind of how you operated you know mm-hmm. the the back part of it and then you know later on seeing kind of your your process with you know when you talk to your clients in the office and, and different things like that mm-hmm. um so i mean it, it was a good couple of years i think mm-hmm. um from when i, I first had years. that yeah. experience with you to you know kind of reaching out to you mm-hmm. periodically to kind of just see do what's something. going on and say, hey you know i'm i'm hungry and i'm i'm ready and do you know something. i think i can provide value yeah um so that kind of manifested itself into me starting to kind of come in here and, and, and take that assistant role, mm-hmm. which yeah. I'm a creative. Yeah, Chris was, Chris was my assistant. And I'm not a good assistant. For, for a little bit. <laughs> and then we decided, uh, you know what, let's give you more on the creative side. You're definitely better there. Yeah, so. yeah. The admin, yeah. Uh, I, I can do it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm way, 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 way better. Yeah, I, with, we, uh, with Juanita creative. and I were, were joking and... Uh, just kind of talking about uh, Chris and, you know, he, he's got just a different personality and we, we put him in this pink room with us and <laughs> right. Yeah. It's, it's definitely not masculine at all. Right. Um, but no, he's been That's great. Okay, and yeah, no, it's been, it's been a lot of fun and a lot of learning and curves and things. And so uh, what, what, you know, what, where's your vision changed in all of this and what, how do you, well, you know, with going more, um, so with, with going more into the creative yeah. route of things and, and kind of just looking at the business with, you know, where we are online presence wise sure. with, uh, you know, just the whole plethora of, of things you can do online, yeah. you know, looking at the opportunities like, like this, setting up a podcast, yeah. Um, yeah. really putting a voice and a, a face and a name just behind the brand, yeah. I think, you know, is, is something that's super so, important. So important. I think that, you know, I, I'm definitely thankful that you're pushing me to do this. And it, it something that we talked about. It was something that we talked about, but I, I didn't move into any action until yeah. you kind of said, okay, this is, this is what we need to do. But looking at it now, I think it's so important because so many women first and just foremost are on the fence about coming to see me right and, right. and i'm a woman in this industry and so you imagine for a male you know yeah, it's got to yeah. be super hard uh but as far as just being on the fence and and wanting to know is this something that i want to do i think that this gives them an open book to kind of just know who i am you know first and foremost yeah, w- the, without the having to take any risk at all of, yeah. of ever even calling you or, yes. or getting a hold of you yeah you know all they need to do is just go to youtube yeah. so and, and they can see it the podcast i think is 
an amazing uh, thing as far as where we're going to go with it too. Mm -hmm. I, it's not going to always just be about introducing people or the business or, or whatnot. It's, we really want to get into a lot, a lot of grit and dirt. Um, I want to bring yeah. Juanita back on and just kind of talk even more in depth about her journey. Um, and I hope she doesn't mind me saying that she's 40. Um, but jumping mm -hmm. into at 40, a totally brand new career and yeah. uh, really yeah. just jumping and how, I mean, how a lot of, fearful. That's, people don't do that because of the fear, Yeah, you know, yeah. And, and, and that courageousness involved, I think, can speak volumes to, to other, other yeah, women, even other men, it's any, just, any other people, in the business of um, inspiring people. Who, who's, who are, who are on the fence, who just don't like where they're at and, yeah. and want to make a change. I mean, that, that could be very well the push that, you know, takes them over yeah. to being able to live a life that they're happy about. Absolutely. Like and, she says and that's she a cool thing. Boss. That's a cool feeling to have any sort of varying level of influence on that. Yeah. And so, and then even more so then, so then what happens next? You know, as yeah. business people, we go through these humps and these bumps of this is what I want. And then when stuff gets hard, what do you do? You know, right. and, and many people at the first hump and bump in the road, they'll, they'll throw you their hands up and they give up. I'm yeah. done. You I'm know, done. And so I want to talk more about that. This is uncomfortable. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with it. You yeah. know, everybody yeah. can see me fail. Yeah. I'm done. Failure, right? The, I'm the, done. the fear of failure. And yet right. failure is your biggest key to success. That, that's the <laughs> irony of it all. It's the it's biggest so key to success because the lessons that you learn along, you know, along the way, the knowledge, uh, talking about even, you know, the venue and, and the barn and that, that whole idea of becoming uh, a wedding venue and, and right. what I went through with that over the course of a year and a half. Yeah, I mean, was, you, you very well could have said, you know what, I'm done with this. I'm well, just, I did. I mean, I'm after just a year and a half and, and everything it, else, it, it but, but you could me. just call it quits altogether. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, from that, from that defeat, because I mean, you got the city working against you, yeah, right? That was tough. It's like the government officials are tough. You know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't do what you want. Well, that's a whole property. other, that's a whole other, yeah. uh, topic for yeah, another day. So we want to talk about, um, you know, ego. We want to talk about, you know, how you put yourself to the side in many cases. We want to talk about sacrifice, the dirt, the grit, and the grind of, yeah. you know, a little bit of everything. And, and women, um, what we speak to ourselves, what we tell ourselves, the power of yeah. our words, you yeah. know, we talk and, a little and, bit and about the perspective, Yeah, the, the, and the perspective on that, man. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm married. I have Men's a wife. I have a, I have a daughter. And, uh, you know, whether it's here or at home, I'm surrounded by women, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, so I have some some interesting uh, perspective that I think uh, may be able to provide your, your audience Absolutely. with some value. I so. loved hearing, you know, just even on, on the last podcast, you guys, you know, talked about a little bit how real quick women will say this about themselves. And right, then, you right. Know, Dana said something about a steak, you know, like, <laughs> damn, she looks like a steak. And yeah. I just love that, you know, it, it's such a different perspective because we will tear ourselves up in the mirror and and you guys don't see it that way yeah you know? not so at all i mean it's almost complete opposite in yes. fact and it's it's just insane to me how you know somebody can be so hard on themselves without having any substance for that yeah. that be yeah. harshness uh being based in reality mm -hmm. you know um i mean i get it in the same same regard but it's like man so many people could just cut that out of their lives and replace yeah. it with positive, different things. I mean, yes. life would transform so fast, yeah, so yeah, fast. Yeah. So I want to talk about those things. And I think that's kind of what, where we'll, we'll go into more of those week by week. We're going to try to be, um, consistent in providing a podcast every single week and yeah, having those up yeah. to begin with on YouTube. So definitely, uh, keep watching and, and keep your eye out for any announcements or new drops on the podcast. Yeah. And in the um, comments, you know, make sure you let us know what like you want to hear. Mm -hmm. Um, definitely, definitely. That helps us kind of gauge where to go and, and what to do and, and, and who's listening. Right. And, and, yes. and what that looks like. So and, uh, we and bringing appreciate it. Other local, um, I love supporting local and I love supporting other yeah. businesses. So bringing other local people into the business to talk about their dirt and their grind yeah. and yeah. you know, just how they maneuvered through things and struggles and let's be real. Like let's get real. Yeah, about Cause I mean the, the businesses can change, but the experience getting to be successful is I think uh, very similar yeah. in, in, in a lot of different ways yeah. for a lot of different people. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm um, just excited about all of it and uh, hopefully we'll have one new every single week. Cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, we're going to wrap it up this week, guys. Um, stay tuned for next week and we'll talk to you then. All right. See all ya. right.